Hey scholars, it's good to be back with you. One of the questions I get a lot from the students in my math class is what the heck is a function? In mathematical terms, a function is just a relationship between some inputs and some outputs. It's kind of like a black box. I just stuff some numbers in and I get another number out. And the reason that we care is an awful lot of the world around us we describe using functions. Think of a speaker. We know that if we put a signal in, we get sound out. Well, what's a signal? A signal is a time-varying voltage that means something. Well, that sounds like input, right? And the output is the sound we hear. Well, the relationship between the input and the output is called a frequency response function. And every speaker's got one. So there's that word function again. So what's a function look like? As engineers, we often try to think of things in physical or mechanical terms, and it's tough to do that with a function. But I think I might have a solution. On the screen here, you see a function. That's this thing right here. Okay, And I just made this up. It, it doesn't have any physical meaning as far as I know. And I defined an x range and a y range. So x and y's, those are the numbers you push into the function. And f of x is what you get out of the function. And there's what it looks like. That's the function. That's a picture of it. Well, this is correct without maybe being helpful. So this is it in 2D. What would it look like in 3D? Because this is a 3D function. There's two inputs, x and y. And there's an output, f of x, y. And if you want, you can plot that in the z direction. Well, this is trying to show z, or f of x, y, um, coded by color. So the blue colors are low, and the red colors are high. And then there's this range in the middle. Well, what would that look like if we tried to actually plot it in 3D? Let me get rid of these, since I've defined an awful lot of points in there, and it would take a long time to generate this plot from those numbers. I'm going to let MathCAD do it automatically. Well, there's what the function looks like. Let's rotate it around a little bit. Let's see. Hmm, well, that's a little better. But there's another way to do this. This is just a 3D shape, isn't it? Well, why not 3D print one? So I asked one of my students, Raj Chowdhury, if he could 3D print this for me, and he did. Let's take a look at that. So, here's the thing that Raj made for me. Well, does this look like the function we just had on the screen? Um, yep, it does. Let's take a look at this. There's the x-axis. There's the y-axis. And there's z. And z here is the same as f of x, y. But this is what it looks like as a solid. Okay? He made the bottom flat for me. But this is a function. For every value of x and every value of y, there's a value of z. Remember those blue colors said that the value was low? Well, that's it right there. I can put my finger in there. That's a function. So there you go. Since a function is defined in three dimensions, we can make one in three dimensions. Hope that helps, and we'll talk to you next time.